Colin, do you know what an extended tip is? This guy right here. Steven, do you know what an extended tip is? It's that thing I got in my pants. What's up guys, I'm Joe from Momentum Works and today I'm here making another video about something that I think is really important and you're watching because you probably already drove 11 hours today and now you're stuck in a truck stop. Stay tuned. Alright guys, today's topic is extended tip, something I know nothing about as a chubby white man. But, extended tip compressor wheels. You might be familiar with what this is, is a billet compressor wheel. Um, and we can kind of touch on exactly, you know, billet versus cast. But what I really want to talk about today is extended tip and what exactly that does and what benefit that brings for you in your turbocharger. So first and foremost, let's take a quick look on how these wheels are made. I'm going to bring up an image here. Uh, basically, you can see these three compressor wheels here. One is a raw forging. Um, then you can see that it's been slightly milled already to be sort of what the profile is going to be. And then this final compressor wheel is what it looks like after it's done on the CNC machine and what the final process is. Um, the real benefit of the billet wheel, a lot of guys say, you know, you get this, you get that. It's just a little bit more structurally sound. Uh, the OEMs, you know, if you can even add four of this, and they'll tell you that a lot of the OEMs wanted a billet wheel in their compressor wheel because they were having issues with cast wheels bursting uh, from a lot of cycles. Uh, kind of think about like a drag slick, guys. You're at the drag strip and uh, a dragster pulls up, it's got a big set of slicks on it. And when they do their burnout, you can start to see the tire gets real skinny from that rotational force because it's spinning so fast. Um, the compressor wheel does the same kind of thing, just on a much smaller scale because it is much smaller. And it's going to do that hundreds of thousands of times in its life cycle. So by using a billet product, you can get a little bit more structural integrity to help you know, keep the compressor wheel from bursting. Um, and you know, if, not to get into a warranty conversation, but a lot of times compressor wheels can burst from other things, um, you know, such you know, bad shaft, yada, 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 overspeeding. Topic for another video, let's stay on track. Okay, you got it, producer. Just kidding, no one's here, it's just me. Um, so yeah, so billet wheel, extended tip is what we really wanna talk about today. And the extended tip uh, is this portion here, the compressor wheel. And we're going to get a closer look in on this. So what we have here is a used 78 millimeter wheel out of a Borgwerner S410 SX. So you notice that there is a little bit of imperfection on this wheel because it has been used. Uh, it looks like there's some chips out of leading edge, but that's not important. What we're looking at here is the extended tip, this portion of the wheel here. Um, and you can see how this blade kind of comes out on an angle. So basically, if we were to put this wheel upright, and I'm going to do my best to get this with the camera, guys. Uh, you see how the wheel's on an angle? There's that extended portion there. It's not completely flat. It's not a 90 degree angle with the back side of the compressor wheel. It's got an extended tip. So I have a compressor cover here with the compressor wheel in the cover so you can get an idea where these tips exist. So this would be where your shaft would be and your cartridge and your bearing housing. So this is just, like I said, our compressor cover, just like you would see, you know, on the front of your turbo. And as you can see in here, you can see those tips and with that slight little bit of extension, you're getting more, more flap, if you will. It's more blade to move more air because this is where that boost is really being generated. Your fresh air comes in here and this thing's spinning. And when that air comes off of this wheel, it's coming out here. These are the blades. This is the end where it's really pushing that air. So this is where that extended tip lives. And you can kind of a better angle there. You can see how the, the extension on the tip, and I'm kind of beating the horse here, how that's going to you know, allow you for more air to be pushed into the motor because of the fact that there's more surface volume, or more surface space there to move more volume. So what's Borg Warner's official take on the extended tip? Well, this feature amplifies boost pressure and flow capabilities for a given wheel size. And when I copy and pasted this, it, I accidentally put boost pleasure instead of boost pressure, which is also very applicable. Who doesn't like boost? But why do we care? So basically, what Borg Warner is saying is that you're able to get the flow capabilities of a larger wheel without changing the wheel size. So the OD, which is the back side of the wheel, the overall wheel size, stays the same. But the extended tip is giving you slightly more material. It's, it's extending out. It's reaching a bit more to grab a little bit of air. Uh, why would you want to do that opposed to just going to a larger turbo? Well, you might have a class restriction. I know certain restrictions, you can only go to a certain size inducer uh, or overall wheel size, things like that. So maybe it's kind of like a way to cheat, but cheat fairly. All in all, when it comes to an extended tip, all it's going to do, it's going to allow you to build a little bit more boost pressure, make a little bit more power, and you know that makes everybody happy. 
and you're doing all that without increasing the wheel size so you don't have as much rotating mass. So just a little quick thing there on extended tip. We kind of touched on compression wheel anatomy as well. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or give us a call. If there's anything you'd like us to do a video on, leave them in the comments. Let us know. Guys, thanks for watching. Take care.